This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We don't register to people to vote here. We only serve as a pass-through for the state of Nevada, one of many. How the DMV registers voters has been called into question by the Nevada Secretary of State's office. And now an investigation is underway to ensure the integrity of the process. That is tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. So the DMV received a letter from Nevada Secretary of State Barbara Sig Sigafsky last week claiming that non-citizens cast votes in last year's general election. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Ariana Bennett in for Kristen Remington tonight. Thank you for joining us. Well, the DMV has since responded to the letter saying they're surprised by those claims. Ryan Canada spoke with a representative from the DMV earlier today and has more on their response. Ryan? Well, Ari, the DMV tells us this letter comes as a shock since it says the Secretary of State's office has approved those practices that are in question. And now the DMV is looking for answers and what they hope is a big misunderstanding. This letter from the Nevada Secretary of State is the last thing the Department of Motor Vehicles was expecting to receive last week. On Friday, Barbara Sagavsky sent the letter to the DMV's director, saying in part, quote, Please take appropriate corrective action as we have reason to believe that non-citizens have unlawfully registered to vote in Nevada as a direct result of DMV's practices. Alex Smith with the DMV says if this was the case, it was not a result of the DMV's practices and that further explanation is needed from Sagavsky. To us, we've not heard anything else of what the evidence is or what they're alleging in more detail. In the letter, Sagavsky also writes, quote, It is our understanding that some DMV employees have been instructed to accept voter registration materials from all customers, including those who present a green card for identification purposes. Smith says these practices have been approved by the Secretary of State's office in the past. She says the department follows the federal motor voter law where the renewal or application for a driver's license serves as a simultaneous application for voter registration. This has a good signature, then regardless, um, we check for completeness and then we send along. These applications are then forwarded to the county clerk or registrar's office, where it's then the job of these organizations to validate a person's voter registration. People think that when they come to the DMV and they hand us that paper that we're registering them to vote. In reality, we're serving as a pastor. Smith says if there was a misinterpretation with the federal requirements, the DMV will work with the Secretary of State's office to make any necessary corrections. We don't expect any changes to come out of this for us, but of course, you know, in any opportunity to, pr to improve, we always take the chance. Now, we reached out to Sagaski's office multiple times in recent days to speak with her. Today, we reached out to her again, and we're told she was too busy to conduct an interview. Covering the big story, live in the newsroom, Ryan Canaday, Channel 2 News.